is one of the largest capital projects for CTA in 2012. It's also a continued investment in the infrastructure as part of the mayor's initiative. The scope of the project is to replace track components on the Wells and Van Buren leg of the loop. The work is scheduled to start April 20th and will run through 16 weekends concluding in the fall of 2012. We've coordinated 16 good weekends with the city to perform the work. When we talk about the track components, that includes the third rail, which powers the train, running rail, as well as inner guard, the ties, the chairs, and footwalk. So on any given weekend over the 16 weekends that we will work, we will have in excess of 200 people working throughout a continuous 50-hour shutdown. We will shut down service Friday at the conclusion of rush hour, and service will start back on Monday prior to rush hour. Customer impact during the weekday will be minimal to none. Uh, during the weekends, uh, passengers may see some slight disruptions to where they board the train, for example. But again, in terms of the impact to the customers, it should be very minimal in terms of their ride. some cases we'll have bus shuttles uh, depending on where we're working during the weekend as it relates to the work. We'll also have uh, reroutes of some of the existing service. So you may board the train at a different location from where you would on a weekend where there wasn't work being performed. The loop elevated project is part of the mayor's building a new Chicago infrastructure program. It's reinvesting in the infrastructure not only on the CTA but throughout the city and so this just falls right in line with the mayor's initiative.